All right, we are in lesson number two of the four-part series, Your Gift Back. We covered how awesome of a gift that uh, we received uh, from God and how that we need to give back. And uh, so the first part of giving back, I believe, is that we have to acquire our gifts. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take the story of David and Goliath here and kind of go from there. So 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. There's three things I want to talk about uh, uh, about this subject. This subject is acquiring the gift. First of all, he went to the brook. Second of all, he stayed at the brook. And then third of all, he acquired more than one. So the first part, when he went to the brook, all right, he knew, what we have to understand is he knew where to find the stones. All right, I want you to understand that in your life, the things that you can use uh, for the kingdom of God, you need to know where to find them. And I believe that that brook is uh, something that represents that brook is, is the altar. Be able to find it now at the altar. Be able to find it in your church. Or be able to find it at home, in your altar at home. So he went to the brook. Second of all, he stayed at the brook. So it's not just enough just to go to the brook, but stay there until you get something. Now, I believe that he went to that brook and, and looked until he found the exact stones. He went down there and he acquired. All right, don't just go to the brook, but go and stay until you can find that perfect stone that's going to do the job. That gift that God has placed for you to use to win victories in your life and in other people's lives. And then what I like, uh, uh, this is going to take effort and time and resources to do. 2 Timothy uh, 3.17 kind of explains my third point here. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. What are you talking about, Brother Jared? He went down and he acquired more than one. Brother Pastor Davis says this quite often, and I, and I think it's awesome. The word perfect here in 2 Timothy 3.17 means complete. Thoroughly furnished means able to teach. Unto all good works means anywhere you put them. What are you saying, Brother Jared? Go down to the brook. When he came out from that brook, he had more than just one rock. When you come up from that brook, get all the gifts that you can. 